सिसोदिया राइट देयर मनीष सिसोदिया दिल्ली डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर आम आदमी पार्टी क्रैकडाउन ऑन एवरी इलीगल लिकर शॉप दिस इज अ बिग स्टोरी वर ट्रैकिंग ऑन इंडिया टुडे सिसोदिया सेज दैट न्यू वेंडर्स हैव बीन गिवन एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट थ्रेट्स uh he says all liquor policy is going to be back from 1st of august uh, uh, the new one gets uh, replaced by the old one again now uh, and there is a crackdown according to the aam aadmi party going on on every illegal liquor shop big breaking news coming in new vendors given ed threats according to manish sisodia there was a live press conference by manish sisodia let's get a report to bring you up to speed with the latest developments right here Our reporter will join us in moments from now. But there was a huge backlash, remember, by the opposition and recommendation of CBI approved by the Lieutenant Governor, Delhi government, scrapping its new liquor policy right there. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, he just addressed a press conference, also holds the excise portfolio, directed the department to revert to old regime of the excise policy for a period of six months till a fresh policy is in place. Owing to this, many liquor shops. Uh, perhaps will be closed in the national capital in the next few days amit bharwaj is joining us live uh, uh, amit uh, bring us up to speed with all the key highlights from the press conference of uh, manish sisodia avel uh, chaiti manish sisodia who also holds the excise portfolio in the delhi government just held a press conference and he just opposed delhi's liquor policy model will, uh, will with that of the gujarat model they said that in gujarat there is no liquor policy there is a liquor ban in the state and despite that uh, 1000 crores of business is being done in the state of illicit liquor because of that who tragedy is happening and he also referred to the recent who tragedy and manish sisodia claimed that this is not the first time gujarat had witnessed who tragedy tragedy and deaths because of illicit liquor and he just opposed it with the delhi model where he said that you know uh, with the new excise policy coming into force no new liquor shops were opened in the national capital and the attempt was to rule out or weed out the illicit liquor transactions in the national capital however that did not go well, uh, well with the bjp and that is why the bjp was threatening the new liquor uh, liquor vendors with the ed and he said that because the 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 threat had mounted to the extent that the officials were not even ready to renew the licenses of the shops uh, of which the li uh, uh, license holders had surrendered their license and this was actually leading delhi towards a situation where there have been actually acute crisis of liquor and which might have triggered a situation like gujarat who's tragedy that is what manish sisodia was uh, uh, sharing with the uh, uh, with the media right now he also referred to the you know uh, as to how many uh, liquor shops were in the national capital uh, 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 population per uh, 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 liquor vend in the national capital and he actually put out the numbers comparing it uh, to the situation in haryana to the situation in noida in karnataka as well as uh, 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 in delhi so he said that despite that a new policy was in in uh, force even if all shops would have been opened in the national capital uh, Uh, per, uh, there it would have been uh, 22000 people per liquor vend went in the national capital however only nearly 450 liquor vends were opened in the national capital which meant that every uh, for every liquor vend in delhi uh, 44000 people were dependent on it so th these were the numbers that he has shared and he said that because of the uh, uh, acute amount of pressure on the vendors as well as the officials the licenses which have been already surrendered in the national capital were not getting renewed and delhi was actually heading towards a situation where there have been acute crisis shortage of liquor and which might have forced people to look for illegal options options of illicit liquor which the government did not want and that is the reason now the government has decided that from august 1 the old liquor policy will be implemented in the national capital which means the big breaking here chaiti is the big point that needs to be noted here is that now from august 1 delhi will have only government liquor vendors operating in the national capital so far what we were seeing that the private vendors were operating the liquor vendors in the national capital but from august 1 when the old liquor policy will come into force that would mean that only government uh, liquor vendors will be uh, working in the national capital however now there's a bigger question as now it what happens the to the private liquor stores it's also a, a matter of their sustenance as well right their livelihood too so what really happens to the private players in this business in the retail business 
Now, absolutely right, Chaiti. That is a big question that is uh, looming over in the national capital right now. There's a big threat on the uh, private. Hold on, Raja. 